What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again. So, I didn't see this, obviously, we're a few weeks late still, nonetheless, it's a violation. Let me start again. What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, with another violation. True violation here, so, <laughs> this, is, this is bad. So, obviously, in Ghana, yeah. Like I say, he talked too much. <laughs> I like, I like what he was talking. He had some good bars, but he talked too much. That's what we know now for a fact. Yeah. The definition of whether someone talks too much is uh, you can only observe that after the fact, scientifically speaking. It's one of them ones. You don't know. It's it's like um, talking too much. Being diagnosed with talking too much can only be um, realized in the future. In the present, like for example, yeah, if I walk if I walk up to someone and give it a rah rah, at that point in time we don't know if I'm talking too much, do we? We don't know nothing. It's only when I get popped in the mouth and do nothing, or end up end up spark out with my knee twist up, like in Garnu, That's when you know, hey, you talk too much, right? It's one of them ones, one of them scientific ones. The passage of time does not identify. It's impossible. You can't know. Hey, because, for example, if Ngarno had to come out and smoked AJ, then he wouldn't talk too much. Either way, in the build-up to the fight. In the build-up to the fight, Ngarno. Oh, if I touch Joshua, if I touch his chin, he will, he will not take it like Tyson. Yeah, more time. That's what he said. He come with them deep Cameroonian bars. Fair play to him. I, I like the bars. Bar for bar. He on point. Bar for bar, he on point. He sleeps somewhere now, though. You see that one there? <laughs> he sleep. He ain't saying nothing. That's to get put on getting that. Yeah? The illness that Nganu suffered with, clearly, we now know this, people, after the fact, was talking too much. How do we know this? How do we get to this diagnosis? After the fact, he say nothing. He sleep. <laughs> He breathing somewhere. He trying to breathe. He focusing on breathing. Oxygen. He ain't saying nothing. Call me a liar. All the Nganu fans out there. Oh, he come back. I ain't talking whether he come back. I'm talking. Was he saying something? He said nothing. He breathed somewhere. He focused on the vitalities of live people. That's what AJ reduced dude to. Yeah, he won't say nothing about this. Oh, this shot. I hit him. And he will sleep. He won't say, oh, I hit Joshua, he will feel, no, he won't give in none of them Cameroonian ones, he say nothing. Yeah, he focused on maintaining the persistence of his life. Yeah, his life could, his life was fixing to impersist, not go forward. Yeah, his life was fixing to be in a monopoly, you do not pass go. Fact, people, if them doctors hadn't rushed in, he might not have made it, he weren't breathing. Yeah, they was in there, defibrillator, defibrillator. What's that one they put the tube in your mouth? It was controversial a few years ago with the C-19 things. Um, they was jamming that in his neck as well. Just trying to get air. We must maintain life, people. We must do that. That was the doctor's job. They rush in there. Their focus was not... Joshua, listen, people. When the doctors rushed in there for Nganu, they were not focused on, oh, uh, can... If, jo if Nganu hits Joshua, then... He ain't going to get up like Fury did. The doctors didn't want to know nothing about that. They was focused on, we must save this man's life right now. In Garnu's life. The dude who, days before, was talking too much. Talk, talk. And that's why they were shocked. I spoke to the doctors after the AJ and Ingar after the AJ and Garnu fight. And they were shocked too. They said they could, they've never seen a man talk so much. It's that, it's that, um, it's that. Differential as such. The differential between, for example, you could be an average guy, say nothing, stay humble or whatever, and not mention a word, and then get knocked spark out and say nothing. That's not a big differential, but to be talking like he was. And they were hum in a way they were worse than McTapper. McTapper does talk, 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 talk everywhere. But from coming from someone like Nganu, who's based most of the time, coming from someone like him, the bars hit deeper. Yeah, he don't read. Really he never, even in his UFC career, he's never talked like that. One of them ones. He never talked like that. So to go from talking like that to be reduced to having medical professionals rushing upside the ring to try and save your life, 
That's a violation, people. A big violation. Big violation. And on top of that now, AJ has come out as if Francis didn't have enough problems, right? Yeah? Francis, we don't know where he is. All we know for a fact is he, he is trying to breathe somewhere. Yeah? Him and his team of doctors right now are trying to maintain his life. And meanwhile, meanwhile the doctors, meanwhile the medical community are rallying around trying to find innovative ways to get oxygen into Francis. So his life may continue persistent. AJ out here on the gram. Yeah, just violating. Mugging Donny off. I hit him. I hit him. He will not get up. Oops. He prayed now. He food. Hey, not my words. I'm just telling you what I'm reading here. AJ, I can't play the video, but trust me. The video is AJ sparking this Donny out with his leaky guard. And AJ puts a video up and puts Predator to prey. Oh, stop it. Francis the Predator in Garnu. Francis who stay with the talking. That humble, them humble talking bars. Them bars, Francis ain't supposed to say nothing really, historically speaking. So when a humble man starts talking, it's like, wow. The predator to prey. He food to AJ. Bottom line, we can, whatever way you want to crack it. Never mind, if I hit you and you will not get up. You need to breathe, brother. <laughs> That's what you need to be doing right now. Forever more. Focus on that, bro. Because boxing, that ain't it. How can we even... Oh, why be Francis need to come back. Come back. How? He can't breathe. <laughs> it's madness. Yeah? You want him to box? Dude, breathing somewhere. <laughs> Gasping for air. And that's why I don't like a lot of boxing fans. A lot of boxing fans, yeah, they're like... Oh, he gonna come back. You ain't... It's not... It's almost... It's almost sick. I enjoy sport, right? But... You see, the, you saw the way Francis was suffering there. Yeah, this some things are bigger than boxing. Any real Francis fan, you man shouldn't be. Oh, he, he'll come back. He'll do this. He'll do that. You shouldn't be talking about it now. You should be sending him prayers and wishing him well. Let's get him back on his feet. Yeah, let's get him peeled off the canvas and breathing on his own without medical assistance, people. That's what the pre that's what people should be saying now. No, oh, I hope to see Francis back in the ring. Me personally, I hope to see Francis breathing on his own. Yeah? That's what I'm focused on. The realities of the situation we find ourselves in. Not even close to boxing. Maybe, maybe six months from now, and in Gar when Ngannou comes back from Mars, if it, who knows? I don't know. I don't know if Elon Musk got, has got any fake missions planned to go to Mars in the next six months. If he hasn't, I don't see how Francis is going to come do anything. Never mind box. Yeah? Dunno. How's it possible? Dude is on Mars. Yeah? Got sent there. Fact. Oh, are you gonna oh, are you gonna come back a box? How? How are you gonna box? He on Mars. Someone riddle me that. Riddle me how Francis, Mr. Francis, I'm on Mars in Ghanu is gonna box. Then, then we can start talking about oh, he come back, he should box Jezora. Come on, stop. It's not realistic, people. Yeah? We're not even close to Francis coming back to boxing. Some would say we ain't even close to seeing Francis breathe on his own. Have some have some compassion here for Francis. He going through it right now. Yeah, out here talking about oh uh, I got to the press conference early. The very like the, Francis, he's struggling to breathe right now, so the very few words he's said, uh, um, they made me come to the press conference early. And you think that's a man who's present? Oh, I got knocked spark out. Because I got to the press conference an hour early. That's not a man who's living on earth, people. That's a man who's got some sort of split consciousness. Half of his wig is on Mars and the other half, it may well be that. I don't know. I don't know how you can investigate these things. I'm not a neuroscientist, but half his wig for sure. After hearing them bars... Uh, I was uh, I had to be at the press conference an hour early. I, I, okay, yeah, yeah. You you are Mars. You are Mars still. That's not his fault. People talk about Kanye. Oh, Kanye. Yeah, you can't take what Kanye says serious because he got this at the other. You can't take what Francis says serious either. He on Mars. <laughs> Come on now, stop. <laughs> but anyway, um, AJ predator to prey a violation. People, a calm, humble violation at that as well. Just a muggins. Predator is specific to Inganu. 
So he's taking his name, his identity. AJ is stripping his identity back. You may, listen Francis, at one point in your life, you may have been a predator. Now you are food. Yeah. I'm f I was fixing to eat your ass. Pause. Do you understand? He did though. Fact, it, listen, if AJ was on the down low, yeah, if AJ was Kane in the grinder, there would be nothing in Garnu and his two hundred and seventy five pound arms could have been could have done to stop it. That's a fact. Oops, I said it. Yeah, that's what it is. If we was two thousand years ago and AJ was zesty, it have clipped him and it would have been his booty hole. That would have been that's how it worked back in the day. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I bet you too I bet if you went if, if there was a way, yeah, if there was a way that Anuaki aliens could run all the stats, how many thousands of men do you think woke up one morning, got popped in their chops, or got a brick or got a rock leck off the side of their <laughs> leck off the side of their head top and then their booty got a got. How many do you think there is? Yeah, I bet some of you um some of you religious cats are like, no, no, that would never happen. It happened, it been happened. I bet there's probably millions. Millions of Donnies woke up one day and their only crime was having a rock leck off the side of their head top. And that was the end of them. Head leck off and their booty got. Damn. We have to give thanks, people, for the times we live in these times. These times are safe times. I ain't trying to wake up and get no rock leck off my head, get my booty got. <laughs> but principally speaking, the fact is, people, if these were older times, yeah, and zesty times, that would be it for Francis. Call me a liar. Who knows? Without that oxygen supply to his brain, he, he might not even be here. Genuinely. Right? So he definitely pray. He pray on multiple fronts. He the ultimate pray. When a man can't even defend his booty hole, you pray. You food. That's the truth. He, listen. He couldn't defend his knee. His knee twists up. He couldn't defend his ankle, his ankle twist up. He couldn't defend his consciousness, people. The most basic, integral part of being a human being, your consciousness, was ripped apart from him, was separated. His body may have been here, the rest of him, who knows where it is. I say Mars because it's kind of like one of them ones. People talk about space. Mars is something you throw out there, but who knows? It's in, it's in some celestial hippie ting right now. Yeah? The top, the top hippies right now are trying to look at the stars and put all their hippie. Oh, it's the cancer, it's the cancer. Leo, they're doing that one there. They got all them, them, them moody, um, the moody hippie boards out. They're trying to work out where Francis is right now, locate his consciousness. Oh, the Leo and this star and that Orion's belt, and they're trying to do all that astrology things right now for, for this cat here. We have to give thanks. So, hippies are a bit off key, like most cults, in my opinion. But the hippie cats, they're, they're doing the most right now for Francis. We must, there's a hashtag, bring Francis back to earth. And the hippies, they be on that one. <laughs> but yeah, man. Listen. Fair play to AJ. End of the day, man. That's what I don't get. AJ came out a little while ago and said, oh. Oh, I could have come out and mugged Francis off, but. Oh. I could have come out and mugged Francis off, but. No, sorry. I could have come out and mugged Francis off. Like he would have mugged me off. But I'm not going to do that. And two twos. Dude's out here posting the video up. Predator to prey. That's, that is. What, what's more peak? You tell me. As a man. Being considered prey to another man. You, what's a, you name me a bigger violation. There's no bigger violation people. Prey is like you're just. You're whatever, you're whatever they want you to be. Yeah. Predator to prey is. You're whatever I want it to be. If I'm the predator. And you're my prey. It don't matter. I might eat you. Think of all the things. Anything. I can do what I want with you. Ever watch a cat and a mouse? Yeah, I'd consider a cat and a mouse prey. Mouse ain't do nothing. Yeah? If that cat fixing to have some zesty agenda, that's his ass. Fact. Call me a liar. It just so happens the cat may want to eat him. And even sometimes don't even eat him, it's play with him. And get them gone. You see what I'm trying to say? Prey is the ultimate. It's the peakest one. If a man ever if a man ever says to you your praise, it's over for you. The, the, um, fat or a couple thousand years ago, however long ago, the samurais, the whole bag of man, like if you got violated in a certain way, it was your duty, for your honour, to end yourself. Yeah, to have an honourable passing. I've been violated in such a fashion 
I must do the manly thing now. And I believe this is a calling for that. If you end up pray, the manly thing to do is the only way to get your respect back. If another man look at you and he sees pray, the only way you may get right with God, the only way you may make it through Valhalla is if you say, you know what? I must do the honourable thing now. I must get on my samurai tip and go out by my own sword. Because God forbid you carry on living as prey, right? And that's, that's, that's the predicament Francis finds himself in right now. He talked too much and now he's someone's food or whatever their desires are. Whatever AJ's worldly desires are for him, he that right now. He pray. He's big ass prey. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought Francis' 270 pound ass would be prey? Here we are. Oops. I didn't say it. AJ said it. And rightfully so. He pray. And the powers that be that govern us kept Francis alive. Kept his ticker ticking. That's a fact. Yeah? Like McGregor said years ago. Maybe someone else has said it as well. But years ago, McGregor said, If it wasn't for the rules, I'd have walked over there and bounced your head off some more. And that would have been, whoop, the end of your... Obviously, we can all say that. But McTapa would have been... Nate Diaz would have, or I think McTapper's career would have ended up in the, um, he lost some fights by submission to some dudes in, what was it, the UK mixed martial arts thing. So yeah, it's a bit of a thing, it's a bit of a one of them ones, but you get the point, yeah? And this is why, to some extent, talking too much, I'm not saying Francis talked too much, but he talked too much, yeah? Because when it came to it, he said nothing. And that's why I've respected AJ to a large extent, because... He don't say nothing before the fight. So even when he, in my opinion, he didn't perform well against Ruiz in both fights, it's not, that differential I was mentioning earlier, it's not really big. He doesn't really say much and okay, he danced around from Ruiz in the second fight. So, my beef is, if AJ comes in talking the greasiest, Oh, Andy, if I touch you, you will not get up. And he gets in there backpedaling. That's when I got a problem. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's something wrong here. And Francis, unfortunately, he wanted them. One minute he's talking about, if I touch you, your chin ain't going to take it. Next minute, he, he, he can't talk. He can't say nothing. He's struggling to breathe. That's the problem. Differential, right? If I touch you, you, you ain't going to get up. He, he. Yeah? It don't sit well, does it? Imagine that, put yourself in that situation. Say you go out with your bird, yeah? And some next Donny rubbing you up the wrong way and you say to him, if I touch you, you ain't gonna get up. And the next minute you know, you're, <laughs> it, don't, it, don't, it don't work, does it? Imagine that situation. It just, you be, it's a, whoa. It's like, damn, we're dealing with a big differential here. Your missus, when you get home, will ask you, wait a minute, why was you talking so much? Yeah? Why was you there running your gums about if I touch her, you ain't gonna get up. And next minute, I'm having to get out the, I'm having to run to the local, um, the nearest, what they call it, the nearest ambulance point to try find some breathing apparatus for your ass on the floor. <laughs> she gonna check you, and rightfully so. Yeah? Rightfully so. I'd expect to be checked. If you ever catch me running my mouth, yeah, if I do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I end up on the floor, breathe somewhere. Struggling, <laughs> struggling to breathe. <laughs> That's, it just don't sit in my mind like that. You have to be careful. Obviously, you could be polite and get smoked, but it's different. Your missus ain't going to really check you. She might, she, more times, she might check you, but it, it's not, like, it, the, the end of the day, people, it's a differential here. Yeah? You put it out there in the universe that you can do something, and you ended up struggling to breathe. Struggling to maintain the course of your life, your natural life. Yeah? The course of your natural life came to an, um, an abrupt and unexpected end. That's the truth. Francis' life was ticking along nicely. Tick, 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 tick. Whoop. Yeah? Tick, 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 tick. I hit you. I hit you. You will not get up. <laughs> see, see, see that? His life ticking along. And next thing you know, he breathing. He's struggling. <laughs> Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> the graph is, at, is off key. There's a big event there. What's going on here? He was talking. He was talking. He was doing this fine at life. And next minute, you know, the alien's looking down. Whoa. Ngannou's struggling. His life, his life, his life, what do they call it? The life signs or no? Um, what are the stats called? The stats when you're 
like uh, vital signs. Yeah, France. Is, the Anuaki, who I was talking about, who I thought patterned Francis up with the genetic upgrades, they was, you know, we watch video, they watch information, so they're seeing their their charges, vital signs ticking along on the chart. Tick 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 tick. Next meeting, it just drop off. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> straight down they're like what the blowhole going on here one minute we know this dude doing nice talking 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 next meeting though he he fell off fell off the ultimate fall the ultimate fall off he ended up prey anyway yeah i find these bars funny man fair play to aj i want to see some more of these bars i want to see obviously after the fact i'd love to see aj get off on new sick i'd love to see aj get off on fury um and I think it's possible. It's certainly more likely than it was a few months ago. That's for sure. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe. And lick off the bell 100%, no doubt.